come into a uh, fog machine. So you guys are already off to a much bigger party than we're used to. Thank you so much for being here bright and early this morning. Uh, very excited to get to be part of this event. I know you've got an incredible lineup over the next several hours, including Secretary Hugh McDonald and Congressman French Hill, who are slated to speak after me. I love getting to be both of their warm-up acts. Uh, they are truly impressive leaders for our state, and we are so excited that you will get to hear from them. They are both business leaders in a past life, and French even used to run a bank. So I'm going to let all of the really technical details and expertise come from them, and I'll do the fun stuff here this bright and early Monday morning. I don't know a significant amount about the banking industry in the same way that French does, but I do know a tremendous amount about the state of Arkansas, the amazing people that come from our state and the fantastic business opportunities that anyone who chooses to invest here can enjoy and see. That starts with the great city that you're visiting here this morning in Little Rock, Arkansas. I will never forget the day that my family moved to Little Rock from Texarkana, a small town in southwest Arkansas, right on the Texas-Arkansas border. It was a little bit of a uh, quick shift. My dad had just become governor and not in the traditional sense. He hadn't been elected to that position, but he was the lieutenant governor and was becoming governor rather rapidly overnight. So it was quite the transition for my family. And from those of you who are from big cities like New York and Chicago, it may come as a surprise, but moving to Little Rock in that moment felt like moving to the big city. I remember wanting to make a very special first impression and a big entrance at my dad's inauguration that day. And it was supposed to be kind of my first foray into Little Rock's social scene. Unfortunately for me, my mom had other plans and I'll never forget, nor will I forgive, the outfit that she chose for me that day. It was a red, white, and blue one-piece suit complete with shorts and shoulder pads. If you can't get that mental image in your head, I can assure you it's something that you would not have wanted to personally have to experience. Looking out at the women in the crowd today, I'm very happy to see that 90s fashion is no longer uh, what we're, we're going with. Even though I thought my Little Rock social life in that moment had ended before it even began, that turned out not to be the case. I've literally loved every minute of living in this city, calling it home and in every town, big and small, all over the state of Arkansas. And I know you will too, because Arkansas has so much to offer. Right here, just in central Arkansas alone, we are home to big names like Simmons, Stevens, and Centennial. Up in Northwest, we have the largest business on the face of the earth, Walmart, plus other Fortune 500 companies like Tyson and J.B. Hunt. Across the state, business leaders are making new investments every single day in industries as diverse as aerospace, steel manufacturing, energy, and much more. But I'm here to tell you that this is just the beginning. My administration is working hard to make our state even more appealing to every kind of business, from fintech to farming, and we're making tremendous headway very quickly. We made a historic investment in our education system by raising teacher pay, expanding education freedom, and implementing the proven practices that we know will improve literacy for every student in the state of Arkansas. We've lowered taxes so we can compete with our zero income tax neighbors like Texas and Tennessee. And we're cracking down on crime to keep our community safe. We're making sure that every day we are getting the word out about our state's single greatest asset our natural beauty. These are big changes, but I've never believed that the government can just wave a wand and simply make new business appear. It will take all of us, from elected leaders to entrepreneurs to everyday Arkansans, to make this state the hotbed for innovation, the hotbed that we know we are capable of being. That's why I'm so excited to welcome this summit back for another year. This is exactly the kind of group we need to take Arkansas to the very top. So thank you to the organizers at Vincent for making today possible. Thank all of you for being here and being part of our state's growing economy. 
And most of all, thank you to our attendees for joining and being part of today. You are the entrepreneurs, you are the innovators, and the business leaders that we need to, take, to make Arkansas the best place in America to live, to work, and to raise a family. And we're glad that we get to be here with you to celebrate this amazing day. Thank you so much. And I'll uh, leave the fog machines and the fun to Secretary McDonald from here. And uh, we hope you have a great time here in Arkansas. Thanks so much for being with us.